In question 7, the problem statement says, without adding, find these sums. So in the first part, we have the sum 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. In the second part, we have the sum from 1 up to 19 and all the odd integers in between. And in part 3, we have the sum from 1 up to 23 and all the odd integers in between. So the, what we are going to use to solve this problem is the fact that the sum of the first n odd natural numbers is equal to n square. And we're going to directly use this fact. And that's why we can solve each of these parts without carrying out the actual addition. Okay, so in the first part, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So this is the first 5 odd natural numbers. First 5 odd natural numbers. And hence, the sum will be equal to n square n is equal to 5 so the sum will be equal to 5 square or the sum will be equal to 25 that is the answer for part 1 in part 2 we have the numbers odd numbers from 1 to 19 so we have how many numbers are these so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 19 is the 10th uh, odd natural number so this sum is basically the sum of the first 10 odd natural numbers and therefore its sum will be n square which is 10 10 square or the sum will be equal to 100 and finally in the so that completes part 2 and finally in part 3 we have the sum from 1 up to 23 all the odd naturals from 1 to 23 we saw that 19 is the 10th natural number so 23 will be the 12th odd natural number we saw that 19 is the 10th odd natural number in part 2. So 23 will be the 12th odd natural number. So this sum is basically the sum of the first 12 odd natural numbers. So n in this case is equal to 12 and the sum will basically be equal to 12 square and 12 square is equal to 144. So that completes part 3. So the answer to this question is the sum in the first part is 25, the sum in the second part is 100 and the sum in the third part is 144 and that completes question number 7. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.